Today we're going to talk about an indicator created by George Lane Stochastics and combining it with my own Bollinger Bands. We'll start a little bit about how technical indicators are built and created. Then we'll look at Bollinger Bands and show how to combine an indicator like Stochastics with Bollinger Bands. So now let's look at one specific indicator that I have used a lot, uh, a type of mathematical transform. And that indicator is called stochastics. So I call stochastics the Swiss army knife of indicators because it is the most useful indicator, I think, that has ever been created. It can be used for many, many different purposes. So stochastics is a very simple indicator, but it is a very elegant indicator. It contains a tremendous amount of power in a very simple formula. There are four components um, to stochastic calculation. The last price, the highest price of the period, the lowest price of the period, and the length of the period. So a uh, 10 period stochastic would be the, use the l current price, the highest price of the 10 periods, and the lowest price of the 10 periods. That's the, all the data that you need to calculate the indicator. So here's a chart that illustrates this process. We have um, a chart of the stock market itself. This is a, a very broad index of the US stock market. So um, this, this blue line is the raw stochastic. The red line is the first average. And the green line is the second average. So let us uh, shift gears. We've talked about technical indicators in general. Now let's talk about Bollinger Bands. And then we'll talk about the indicators that are created from Bollinger Bands. So Bollinger Bands are lines that are drawn in and around the price structure. And they have one purpose. And that purpose is to answer a question. So that question is whether prices are high or low. By definition, prices are low when prices are at the lower band, and prices are high when price is at the upper band. With, uh, with this definition, we can ask a question. We can say, if prices are high, does the indicator confirm? So um, in this case, we have three pushes to a high, three times in which price is high by definition. At each time, the indicator is weaker than it was before. So, you so there are two classic Bollinger Band indicators. The first is percent B, and it tells us where we are inside the Bollinger Bands. And the second is bandwidth. And that tells us how wide the bands are, whether they're very narrow or very wide. Instead of the highest high and the lowest low, we're going to substitute the upper band and the lower band. So the, it's the distance from where we are now to the lower band divided by the distance from the upper band to the lower band. So here's a, um, a picture of percent B and gold. OK, we'll look at this again. But it, this, to me, is one of the most beautiful Bollinger Band charts ever. It's a, a perfect three pushes to a high. So here's the first push. Easy to get outside of the upper band. And here's the reading from percent B. On the second push, we can barely get outside of the upper band. And here is the reading of percent B. On the third push, we can't get outside the upper band. 
And here is the reading on percent B. So three pushes to a high. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, it was George Lane that taught me um, this idea of three pushes to a high. And it was on a trip that brought me to Tokyo for my first time 22 years ago. I learned.